Living the life. Isla Horse, we've got Ishfaq Farooq, the director of the Fantastic Isla Horse, to so tell us about their journey on the Eat Out Helper. Ishfaq, Salaam Alaikum. Wa Alaikum. Welcome, okay. welcome, welcome. Where, where are you tonight? Are you up in sunny Bradford? Are you in London? Are you in Birmingham? Are you in Manchester? I'm, I'm, in, your neck, I'm in your neck of woods in London, barking. Alhamdulillah. Well, look, I've been there. Fantastic new location. Once again, congratulations. I mean, look. That must have been a, a very difficult time. I mean, you guys literally opened up just before COVID and the lockdown hit us. What was it? What was the feeling at that thinking? What on earth is going on here? You'd planned it. You've thought about coming to London to the big city and suddenly it was locked down and the restaurant was no longer able to function. What was that like? Yeah, so mashallah, we had a great start uh, at the uh, end of February when we opened. And then straight away, one week, uh, one week later, it was locked down. So we had, we, had, we had all the preparations, all the expectations. Um, so we went into lockdown and everything was went da da downhill from there. But however, we still kept our kitchens open. Uh, you know, we spoiled a lot of the community and uh, we were doing deliveries and takeaways. Uh, and uh, look, look, uh, you just, you just, you just underplayed that because one of the things I noticed yourself, Oscar, by is you kept your kitchens open, but it wasn't just, you know, you did some phenomenal work in that period while Many restaurants remain closed around the country, but my Lahore did some fantastic work. Just t let's just touch on that quickly. Yeah, uh, Alhamdulillah, like I said, it gives opportunity to support the community. I think we gave over 16,000 free hot meals uh, to the most vulnerable and, and wow. needed. Uh, we supported, um, you know, all the vulnerable, the needy, the people, the communities, uh, the food banks, especially at the beginning, first two months. If you can remember, uh, a lot of the councils stopped, you know, working. So a lot of, course, of people that were in, like, uh, you know, like food banks, the vulnerable people. Um, so, mashallah, we, we teamed up with some, you know, great institutions, great, you know, charities. And we, you know, distributed the hot meals, you know, to them and to schools. You know, a lot of the school children, which was, the main thing was, you know, that really got to me was that I felt really good that we helped out with the school children. Because a lot of the school children who were, who were depending on um, uh, free school dinners, the schools were short, so they couldn't have that. Um, so we were giving mm, them to the mm. houses, and it was a great, you know, great sense of sort, you know, uh, the family, you know, uh, you know, feeling, you know, do something for someone. Now, was there a moment you thought, is this ever going to end? I mean, obviously you're doing the community work, which is absolutely phenomenal. But from a business perspective, were you kind of sitting there thinking, when or what on earth is going to happen? No, true, because uh, all the brothers, when we sat around the table, we were thinking, oh, you know, what we got, uh, you know, self interview. We thought London was going to be really big. It's the biggest city because we you know we come from Bradford. Uh, but I don't like, you know, it's worked really well. This EOS scheme has really helped the government uh, scheme. Well, look, I mean, when, that when, when, when that initiative was announced by the government, I mean, was that the kind of light at the end of the tunnel to think, right, Alhamdulillah, I think we're going to get back on our feet here? Yeah, but even then, we were skeptical because we were thinking, is it going to work? Are people are going to come out because of all, all the corona and people you know, didn't want to come out? But mashallah, the, uh, one thing I'm going to say, what the government schemes have worked really fair, you know, well, uh, you know, for us and uh, many businesses in terms of, you know, the furlough that helped you know, a lot of the team members, you know, get wages. Then there was the VAT reduction, which has mm. helped massively. And now uh, the, the EO scheme was a great success. I mean, having spoken to Oscar uh, the other day about, you know, how... He told me that the queues were going round the car park, literally. I mean, what was it like, you know, seeing all those people standing there and wondering, right, are we going to be able to serve them? People must be getting frustrated. They're standing there for an hour, two, three, four hours sometimes. What was the whole experience like? No, so, mashallah, you know, we had many queues. We had a massive queue. People waiting for three, four hours, you know, for a table in the rain. So, my Lahore, you know, we would have made sure all our guests have a great time. So even though when it was raining, we were like having shelter for them, giving them cups of teas, hot teas out for them, whilst waiting the queues, just to get everybody in, you know. Um, and uh, so, Marshall, I think it was a great achievement, you know, because not just for the team, but for also the customers, you know, it was like four or five months, people were inside the homes, they exactly, come out for a meal, exactly. you know. And uh, I think with, with all the community work that we did, and people saw with all the measures 
that we put in place for the COVID-19, the risk assessment, I think it gave a lot of confidence to the people, you know, to come to the restaurant. And mashallah, we had a lot of repeat customers, uh, you know, uh, uh, every day for them, three days, uh, you know, uh, well, look, of the week. B before we go any further, anybody who uh, doesn't know Wild Horse, we've got a small video, uh, a small clip of the fantastic chain of restaurants that you guys are running. So just stay online. Let's have a look at this. This is what Milo Horse is all about. Oh Thank, you. Is that okay? Thank you, guys. No problem. Thank you. I hope you have to be very happy. You know, you guys have been working very hard. We're from Milo Hall. Okay, thank you. Yeah, yeah. so this is for you. So. I mean, theater. Okay. Please no. the theater. Theater, brilliant. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Let them know. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well done. Keep up the hard work. Thank you very much. Here you go. That's a district that you know we from Mile oh, sure. The menu is not as well. Just to appreciate yeah. the hard work you guys do yeah. in this tough time. So oh, wow. it's just a way to say thank you from Mile Hall. Yeah, guys. Thank you. Keep up the hard work nice. and all the rest of you. Yeah. Thank you. And just to say Mile Hall is always there for you yeah. guys as well. Okay. Thank, thank you, Mojia. Keep you. the hard work. Yeah. Keep thank you, Mojia. Well. I was hoping to see a bit more of inside Mile Hall, but Hamda, that was some of the fantastic work that they carried out. Let's go back to Ishfaq and uh, hopefully we've still got him online. Um, uh, and the restaurant, he was at the restaurant just now. There he is, he's back there, mashallah. Uh, it's right, very quickly, with your camera, just give us a quick twirl about my Lahore's and, and, and what's going on at the moment. What night is this? It's a Tuesday night at the moment. Um, what are the numbers like? I mean, has the, you know, the initiative of the 50% of the off, has it increased, you know, bringing numbers in on a general night? Yeah, so... There we go. If you haven't seen Mile Hall, very colourful, uh, authentic. The Mile Hall for you. Uh, yeah, so yeah, so, so what, what's, it, what's it been like? Has it brought people in outside the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday night? Yeah, so we've got about 45% of increase compared to last year, you know, this time. Wow. Yeah, so it's been brilliant. And it's got a lot of people coming out. So, so financially, mashallah, you know, it's helped as well because we had a really tough four months where everything was standstill and for our London branch. Um, so, it, it, you know, it was a great, you know, like a boost, you know, for us for, for the next four months. I mean, look, one of the things that's been quite scary, I, mean, I only went out last night for the first time, to took the missus out last day and all that, very busy with life. Um, but it's been quite scary for someone like myself uh, when I've, I've been up and the days I've been in London to walk down, I won't mention some of the streets, but people had no regard for social distancing, face masks, etc., how do you deal with that when you are a crowd, you know, waiting for three or four hours outside? Yeah, so we've got very, uh, we've got a strict COVID-19 risk assessment in place. And mashallah, you know, we, all the team know that they've got to follow that. Before uh, the guests come in, they've got to fill in the details for track and trace. Mm. And, you know, they, they've got to um, uh, use the sanitizer. We've changed our menus where there's no menus, QR code systems. We've changed the layout of the restaurant, of the kitchen. Team members, uh, you know, it's mandatory to wear face masks. You know, record their temperature before coming to work. Mm. So we've got so many measures in place, and, and I think that's another reason why people, mashallah, feel comfortable coming to Milo Hall is because of the strict COVID-19 risk assessment and you know the SOPs in place. Has have there been any challenges? I mean, people getting frustrated, waiting for so long. Yes, like I said, financially, mashallah, it's been brilliant, but we did have a lot of uh, challenges in terms of getting everybody uh, in. Uh, people are in big groups. So how do we separate them? Because you're not allowed to uh, have more than two households. With technically six people per household. So again, dividing them around, um, and again, try to, um, you know, keep people, um, you know, have, have you know have a great time at the same time, you know, uh, having the COVID-19 risk assessment here in place. Mm -hmm. So yeah, and again, the queues in. I think that's been a great challenge. And finally, what what have you learned on the back of you know COVID number one on the back of community work? And then on the back of this, you know, Eat Out, Help Out initiative, what, what have been the main lessons from Myla Halls? Well, we've learned that anything can happen, you know, uh, <laughs> change. You know, I think, you know, from today to tomorrow, we should be blessed with what we've got, mashallah, you know, uh, the stuff that we're doing, you know, working as a family. We've got at least we can, you know, uh, you know put, uh, put food onto the table because a couple of months ago, as you know, you know, we were in a complete different position. We had no customers. Mm. Mm. And now, mashallah, uh, we had customers, we've got big queues of customers who need to come in. So just so you know, things can change. So we should be grateful of, you know, what we've got, Masha, and what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has, you know, blessed us. Alhamdulillah. Jazakumullah khair for joining us. May Allah, may Allah bless you and the family and the, and the chain. Absolutely brilliant food, brilliant community work as well. And you guys have always been so charitable, certainly from everything that I've seen in, in my days in, in our connections. 
You like our brothers and family, alhamdulillah. And a, a visit for me to my laws is long overdue. It's been a while. I came on the opening night, and that's the last time I came. Uh, so keep smiling and give us love to the rest of the team, inshallah. Keep up the brilliant work. Jazakallah khair. Assalamu alaikum. Brilliant. My Lahore's Ishfaq Farooq, one of the directors there, and the fantastic work that they've been going through the COVID period, and of course, the Eat Out Help Out, and how it's affected their business, mashallah. And we pray that many of the restaurants have enjoyed as much success. Mm -hmm. Live in the light.